finally got around to doing my Dawn of the Planet of the Apes review. I did actually get to see an early showing of this. Well, I say early, it was like two days early, but I've only just managed to get in front of a camera and get on with this. So, what did I think of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? Well, let me remind you that I absolutely love Planet of the Apes films. Planet of the Apes was my first DVD box set and I just have an attachment to it. I just love the whole premise. Monkeys taking over the world. I mean, how fascinating is that? And Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was everything I wanted from a Planet of the Apes film. Rise of the Planet of the Apes was everything I wanted from a Planet of the Apes film as well. So you've got Rise, which is all about the science aspect, and then you've got Dawn, which is basically a survival film. And I just love the fact that they've done these themes. It's great. You know, Rise ticked the box. Dawn has ticked the box, so I'm very excited to see where it's gonna go from here. Call me weird, call me sick, but I absolutely love like apocalypse films, dystopian films. I just find the idea of living like that a lot more appealing than work, pay bills, pay mortgage, sleep, work, pay the bills, mortgage, and sleep. It's just entrancing the idea of just surviving, survival of the fittest. So with a film like this, of course, I'm hooked straight away. How exciting is that to be out there as a human surviving a virus? And then not only do you have to survive a virus, you have to survive attack of the monkeys. The cinematography is just excellent. The sets were beautiful. Uh, just alone where the apes all lived, the forest was just incredible. Incredible. It just made me want to be a monkey and just swing around. <laughs> and then you've got the sets where the humans live in the cities and kind of had a I am legend nature to it where all nature has taken over. Uh, so all nature is like climbing up on the buildings, growing out of cars and I just find them something really beautiful about that. And I never thought I'd see the day when I was so engaged with non-human characters. The CGI is incredible. Well, let's just take a moment in awe for the CGI. <sighs> yes, the CGI was incredible. It's the best to date in a film. I. I'm hand on heart, I will say that I was just like breathless. <laughs> I wasn't sure where I was going with that. Uh, I couldn't think straight. I was breathless. Uh, <laughs> I just couldn't believe how incredible the technology is nowadays. It's just becoming so advanced so quickly. It's almost scary but incredible. The you just felt like you were watching real apes and that to me was just right that's it this is an amazing film and what i love with the cgi is not only do they look like real apes they've gone so far with the technology that they actually look like they're in their own environment i found like up till maybe a few years ago CGI never really felt like it was in its environment, so if it walked past a table and knocked something off, it was clearly someone in a green suit just going, Bleh. or if it was this film, they'd be climbing the trees and someone would be there shaking the branch. But in this, you actually believe that they are in that environment. I really look up to Andy Serkis. I think he is an incredible man. He's a fantastic actor, but he's just took this CGI realm and just stamped his name on it because he owns it. He owns motion capture because he knows what he is doing. He plays Caesar, if you don't know this already, and my God, you are, you just watch it going, yes, you work it, Circus, because you are just fantastic. So yet again, he's given us a fantastic performance as this ape Caesar and just, it's just breathtaking. And then you've got Toby Kevill that who, who's just mastered the motion capture just perfectly. Like I was very impressed with him. He really is intense and he is the one to watch in this film. And then not forgetting a real live action human of the film and the leading man that was Jason Clark and he was just wonderfully engaging. I couldn't keep my eyes off him. Whenever he's on screen, I'm just in, just 
Duh. You, you love him and I can't wait to see him do more leading role leading roles because he just he's just he is adorable and he is just such a wonderful actor that you just can't take your eyes off him my one criticism has to be that they didn't have to make this 3d <laughs> oh annoyed was i uh yeah it didn't need to be in 3d because it just adds nothing to the experience the cinematography alone is just so beautiful you don't have to try and enhance that anymore it doesn't need it so stop ruining this franchise with 3d before it goes any further so as you can tell i really enjoyed dawn of the planet of the apes i don't think i really need to sum up the film let's just say i'm pre-ordering my blu-ray copy right now <laughs>